So get this, I've got this book. This is essentially my journal for you two. It's a good apple. It's a mistake eating during filming. So I've got pages and pages in here of different ideas and possible vlogs, possible films, possible topics, um, possible challenges, different things for me to uh, film with YouTube. Now I take it to work with me all the time and I, as I'm at work doing my job, if I come up with an idea, I'll jot it down. But the other day, I happened to forget it at work. The guy on the other shift found it. So he went through this book and not only did he go through this book, he wrote several things inside mocking my ideas and the YouTube in general. Uh, well, one thing he did, he just drew very giant cock and balls. Um, he also wrote, why are my nipples itchy? And another YouTube idea, biggest slash best poo ever. But regardless, having someone go through that book of mine, it felt terrible and embarrassing. I understand people's reaction when you say, oh, I do YouTube. They're like, Haha, really? Like, uh, especially when you're like 30 years old and starting YouTube. It's not the greatest reaction you get from people. So it's pretty embarrassing knowing that he not only knows that I want to do YouTube and I'm doing YouTube, but some of the crazy ideas and things that I have in here. So there's that. And it got me thinking, I am embarrassed about YouTube and I am embarrassed about people knowing I do YouTube. And it's, it's going to take a long time for me to get over that, especially right now where I'm still at the lower subscriber and lower views. But I thought I'd challenge myself because I'm embarrassed and I'm embarrassed to vlog in public. So I'm going to do a little bit of vlogging in public today. I mean, not a lot, but I'm going to do a little bit. Let's go do that. I have a hair in my mouth. And y'all don't know that I'm a soldier. I always felt like I'm a loner. When everybody thinks they know ya. And y'all don't even know I own ya. And now I'm ready taking over. Cause every day I'm getting closer Just look at everything I'll show ya And now I'm ready, I'm a blower <laughs> And one thing we can pride ourselves being up in the north is we get unique stuff. We get different stuff. We get interesting stuff. And this one is no exception to the rule. Beer Bacon Bands happening, happening February 24th at CN Center. Just $40 to get into this. And for aficionados of music, bacon, and beer, which is everyone I know. <laughs> this is going to be something that you do not want to miss. For the first time, this festival is coming to town and it's going to celebrate those big three things. Beer, bacon, and bands. Great music, great food, and great drink. Go to beerbaconbands.ca for more information. Get your tickets at ticketsnorth.ca and support it by 99.3 The Drive. He's got so many issues. He crashed the WebMD site. <laughs> Beer bacon band seems like it'd actually be really fun to vlog at or yeah. something. What's up, guys? So that's JD. Hi. Give yourself a plug for YouTube. I'm the Media Jack. Find me on YouTube. I'm his friend. I like him. He's not really a friend. He's way more talented than me. In every aspect. <laughs> I almost tipped the chair. Shit. So JD is a radio DJ. JD the DJ. And uh, we're currently in studio. I brought him a coffee, he drank it, I drank mine, and here we are. That's, that's about it. The official title is uh, uh, Radio Broadcaster. Oh, sorry, Radio Broadcaster. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we don't spin discs anymore. <laughs> no? You don't jockey those, those J's? No, we don't. We do no, not. Just jockey, jo jockey those D's. We don't because. have carts, we don't have discs, we don't have tapes, we don't have reels, we don't have nothing. Everything's on computers. Well, I'm pissed off. Oh. <laughs> See you later. No, don't leave. It's so lonely in here. Yeah, I can tell there's a stack of tissues in the corner. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn this off for now, guys. We got to get creative somehow. <laughs> Ew. Hi, princess. Hi, princess, baby girl. Oh, Mika. Mika. Can you howl? Good girl. Dog's going outside. You got to pee. Unlock that door. There we go. Hey guys, so what's up? I am home. Home sweet home. Um, 
Yes, I didn't do a lot of filming outside. I actually didn't do as much as I wanted to today, but I did film in front of other people, which was awesome. Lighting is terrible right now, apparently. How's that? There we go. That's a little bit better, I guess. Ish. Whew. Let's set it. There. Our table's messy as AF. That's good for now. So, actually filming in public is really difficult for me still. Filming in front of other people is still really difficult. But, I gotta break that ground and I gotta actually get out there and do it. Next weekend, I'm gonna be doing something really cool. I've got an awesome project planned, so you guys will see that very soon. Um, it's involving someone else, photo shoot, and a cosplay. And in the meantime, what's up Charlie? It's kinda cute. In the meantime, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment down there. I'd love to talk to you guys, as always, I'd love to talk to you guys, hear what you guys have to say, and what you guys are up to. So, until then, guys, until next weekend, which there'll be some more stuff in, the, in between, so I guess until next video, I'll see ya. Gra bam I have a hair in my mouth. I'm one of a kind, there ain't no one like me So I define, it's the real damn thing Don't be wasting any time, I got somewhere to be Always on the grind, yeah, you know me All the crown will be mine, you can call me king A matter of time, for you all love me Finally at my prime, right where I wanna be I'm one of a kind, there ain't no one like me